click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, today we are going to see a different shaping process which is a gear shaping. So shaping is required in any of the material as well as gear and how it is done we are going to see in this video. In this picture you can see there are two pinions. One pinion is your cutter pinions which give shape to the other pinion which has to be given a certain shape. So both the pinions are rotating on their respective axis and your cutting action is done. So this is the basic shaping process. So the cutter pinion has sharp edges and it can give easy shape to your another pinion which the shape is to be mounted. So in this picture you can see various notations are given like in the form of A, B, C, D and E. All the notations do their respective jobs like the A notation is given for reciprocation of your cutter. B notation is given for rotary motion of your cutter like your cutter can reciprocate up and down as well as it can rotate. Rotation gives the exact shape as well as reciprocation. So you can see there is a C notation which gives rotary motion to your workpiece. So as your cutter rotates, your workpiece also rotates, but your cutter is also reciprocating. Similar way you can see the D as well as the E notation which helps your cutter as well as your workpiece to move in their respective directions. So what happens in a gear shaping mechanism is you have seen in the previous slide both the pinions are rotating. One is your cutter pinion, second is your workpiece pinion. Cutter pinion can move up and down as per the requirement like it can do their reciprocation as well as it can cut the pinion and give it the required shape. So there is a short description given of uh, exact gear shaping process as I have told you B and C pinions are rotating pinions they rotate on their respective axis. A helps in the reciprocation of your cutter pinion as well as you can see B and E they helps in the movement like you can adjust the space between your cutter as well as your workpiece. E is a very special dimension which helps your pinion to get the back movement. So when your motion is done, your cutting is done, the pinion has to complete the rotation and it has to be removed. So this diagram describes your basic cutting operation. So how it is done, it can be shown and these are its basic part. You have a cutter head, you had a workpiece head, you have a table, you have a ramp and everything is kept on that. Thank you for watching this video. Stay tuned with Ikira and do subscribe our channel Ikira.